morning to all of you. Woo! Woo! Yes! You know, we now we're sitting um, much longer um, than we probably have ever sat before. Um, and so we are sitting and we, um, you know, the, the energy is just sitting there and, and the toxins don't have a way to push out. Um, and so, you know, we might get up, go get a snack for those of you who, you know, are not exercising. It's not a judgment because I'm really talking to myself. Um, um, but, you know, there's something that happens, you know, when you move, you know, the full body roll. Come on, Tammy. The full body roll. It's a blessing. <laughs> the full body roll. It's a blessing, honey. It gets the energy moving to all the places the energy needs to be moved to. You do understand. <laughs> you do understand. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, those places where you feel depleted and those places where you need an extra little tender loving care. Yeah, when you move that energy around, when you move those toxins around. And, and, no, and, th and there is no separation between the sacred and the secular in our, um, um, in our understandings of, of our African traditions uh, and religions, ways of knowing and being, there's no separation. And so I know for some, they'll be like, what in the unholy, what in the don't know no God <coughs> is Melva doing? But let me tell you something. Trust and believe, baby, um, that it is all holy work and a good body roll. Ha <laughs> ha! A good body roll is just what God ordered. <laughs> a good body roll is just what God ordered. Before we get started, uh, I want to give a few announcements to you this morning. I want to shout a few folk out. Um, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you for being here. I know this is small and you can, it's possible that you won't be able to see it, but I want to invite you to come be with us at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9.30 a.m. Um, be with us and Pastor Anika Wilson Brown. Pastor Nika Wilson Brown is on here right now. She is the pastor of Union Temple Baptist Church there in Southeast DC. Come on. I said she is the senior pastor. I should be seeing hearts. Uh huh. You heard me. Tia, I should be morning, seeing I'm hearts up right now. Uh, we should be seeing hearts right now. Uh, I don't see any. I don't see any hearts. I don't see you all giving up any hearts, but I need you to give some hearts um, because she is the senior pastor of this magnificent African centered, um, Free, okay, I see your hearts now. Free church. Um, when I say free, I mean liberated um, church. Um, uh, most recently, her father, Pastor Willie F. Wilson, and her mom, First Lady Wilson, um, who were the leaders, the shepherds of that house. Um, and let me tell you something. They were doing, um, back in the day, at least when I moved to D.C. in 95, they were doing the work already. It was there that I went to hear Minister Louis Farrakhan. Come on, somebody. Uh, you don't hear me, though. So, at at 9.30, I'm going to be joining them. Um, well, I will be on the live, um, uh, but they will be uh, joining their service um, for Women's Day. And so we invite you to come uh, there and join with us for Women's Day. And then I want to invite you at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to join me. Uh, and women's at the for the Women's Day worship service at the Blackest Church in Memphis, <laughs> the Blackest Church in Memphis, um, Abyssinian uh, Baptist Church there in Memphis with Pastor Earl Fisher. Um, so I just want to invite you for those of you know those of us. The beauty about this digital age, y'all, is that um, you know we can go and be where we need to be and do what we need to do. Um, we can we can 
go visit here and go visit there. So those are two place, spaces that I would love for you to follow both of their ministries and join them even, you know, when I'm not speaking. But this is like if there were church announcements and you know how the pastor would say, you know, I need all of you all to come with me at three o'clock today to be with me because we're going to be at such and such church. And I need I need the sanctuary choir to come raise a song. And, you know, when the pastor say uh, 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 wave your hands to the membership, you don't want you don't want folk to look out and you're not there. So. Uh, this was that kind of announcement. I invite our community to be in community with both Union Temple uh, Baptist Church there in Washington, D.C. at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and with um, Abyssinian, uh, Abyssinian Missionary Baptist Church in Memphis, Tennessee at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with Pastor Earl Fisher. Ashe, Ashe, Asha, Ashe. Thank you for governing uh, these. And oh, one more announcement. Um, the Ubuntu Collective, um, we will be making, preparing to make our second installment this month um, to um, the families that have been identified. Um, and so I'm thanking you to all of the members, um, of the Ubuntu collective, um, who are pulling together our resources. Thank you for our, um, our cooperative work and responsibility and our cooperative economics for sustaining members of our community in the midst of COVID-19, in the midst of all that is going on. Um, I'm just grateful and I'm thankful for all of you who said, hey, I want to assist. And so I just want to let you know, for those of you who are on here, uh, that this week we will be making our second installment. And our second installment um, because uh, your response was so overwhelming, um, we now are, have not only been able to help one family, but we help three families. So from, from April through September, we are helping three families with a monthly stipend, um, uh, with a monthly stipend with money. Ashe with money. Ashe, Ashe. I, let me just pause right there. And so we will be making that installment um, at the end of the week. Um, and so if you are a part of that collective and you need to do what you need to do, um, be sure to, you know, get at me in the ways that you know to get at me so that we can handle that and move forward. Amen. 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 Listen, y'all. Last week, we talked good morning to everyone who has joined. Um, I forgive me for not saying your name. Um, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. But know that I appreciate you and I appreciate your presence. I'm glad that you're here. Last week, we talked about um, exile or compromise. Exile or compromise, y'all. And that word has been sitting with me. Uh, sit. I mean, oh, you know what? Darn it. There is something I need off of this phone, but it's going to stop the recording. Hold on. Let me see. I think I remember. Hold on. Okay. I remember it. Okay. I remember. It's a message. Um, and this message, uh, last week, that message has been sitting with me. Um, I'm so vibed out right now, y'all. Let me just take a moment to collect myself. That Jill Scott has me in, has me in, has me in. It did exactly what I needed it to do. So for those of you who were not with us on last week, we invite you to go back to our Pink Row Chronicles page to watch um, our uh, 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 cast uh, last week, which was... Um, um, exile or compromise. And for us, um, we used to come on, Natasha. See, look at that DigiPass. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Donna. Hey, Liz. Hey, Earl. Um, and so, um, <laughs> I know Earl will take my time. I'm just, you know, you just ever be so hype. Something you just, <clears throat> you just be hype. You just, you know, that's what I am. Just, I'm just hype. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just keep saying, I just, you know, it ain't perfect, but it's good. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that's anybody's testimony right now. I know that there's a lot going on in the world, but that's where I am right now. It ain't perfect, but it's good. I say it ain't perfect, but it's good. And it's taken me a minute to get right there, to be able to articulate that. You know, Reverend Kendra Frazier um, posted something yesterday and, and basically she was saying, y'all stop speaking death. 
Stop speaking death over people. If people want to do what they want to do, she said, I'm choosing to live, right? I say, I'm choosing to live. And she said, and so I'm not tripping if people are doing X, Y, and Z. I know what I'm doing. And I, that thing just touched me. It just got all in me. And I was like, you know what? Yep. I've been so sort of borderline um, hysterical about do folks have on masks? Do they have glasses on? Do they have hand sanitizer? Six feet distance, you know, judging, saying this and saying that. And Reverend Kendra said, friends, I'm I'm out here living, Ashe. I'm living. And so that's how I woke up. That's how I went to sleep. And that's how I woke up, right? It ain't perfect, but it's good. I woke up this morning feeling fresh to death. I'm so blessed. And you know what else I woke up with? This spirit of moving on. I'm moving on. Hey, hey, this spirit of moving on. And that's the gist of um, Esther 1. We enter that story uh, looking at Vashti. When we think about Esther, Esther is always, um, the book of Esther, many times a preach, we uh, folk preachers go to Esther and they skip over Vashti. Um, uh, they skip over her story. They skip over her witness um, to go to Esther. But last week we stopped at Esther and we stopped right at verse 12 where the king called for Esther to come forth. And Esther said, no, she said, no, I'm, I'm just, no. She said, I'm, I'm not going to do it. No. And so, um, Natasha, I don't care if you could go to Reverend Kendra's page, uh, Kendra, K-Y-N-D-R-A, Frazier, um, you will see if her, I don't know if her, I feel like her page is public, but you'll see that post um, there uh, if you can repost it. Thank you. Thank you. If you, if you get an opportunity. And so um, the king calls for Vashti after he has displayed all of his riches and wares and has run out of things to display, things to boast about. And so he calls for the queen because she is his possession. She calls for the king, for the queen. He calls for the queen, sends the eunuchs, uh, and the text says, but she refused. And on last week, we talked about um, this question about, is it, are we going to choose exile or are we going to choose a compromise? And exile for us on last week, if you will remember, was this voluntary separation, a voluntary separation for anything prejudicial, anything derogatory, anything um, um, anything out of order, anything, uh, uh, um, that does not speak, does, 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 that does not give you life. Um, and we use that ex as, as exile. We understand that exile can also be talked about, um, as a forceful separation, but here, uh, we talked about it as exile being agential, right? As exile being agency, Ashe, um, having agency to voluntarily separate yourself from any person, place, and or thing that does not serve you well, that does not enhance, that does not give you life. Uh, we talked about compromise. We define compromise um, as a concession to. Uh, there, it, there it is. There it is. Thank you. You all can go read um, uh, Reverend Kendra's um, Facebook post right there that Natasha just posted. Thank you. And shout out to you, Reverend Kendra, for helping the people. Um, and so uh, this concession um, to or concession of one's principles. So I just want to go a little bit further into that text uh, on this morning for um, our consideration as we as we continue to think about moving on. Uh, verse 13 in chapter one says that the king consulted the sages who knew the laws. Right. And then verse 14 names um, all of the seven officials of Persia and Media who had access to the king. Right. And then 15 says, according to the law, what is to be done? To Queen Vashti because she has not performed the command of King Ahasuerus conveyed by the eunuchs. What should we do with her? Because she has not done right. Uh, she has not done what she was supposed to do. She disobeyed. So what should we do, right? Uh, not only has Queen Vashti, this is according to Memucan, the uh, one of the um, uh, officials, um, what? not only has she done wrong to the king, 
but also to all the officials and all the people who are in the provinces of King Ahasuerus. So, so not only did she disrespect you, King, she disrespected us. Friend, help us today. She disrespected us. How dare she? For this deed of the queen will be made known to all women, causing them to look with contempt on their husbands. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, since they will say King Ahasuerus commanded Queen Vashti to be brought before him and she did not come. This very day, the noble ladies of Persia and Media who have heard of the queen's behavior will rebel against the king, against the king's officials, and there will be no end of contempt and wrath. So if it pleases the king, let a royal order go out from him and let it be written among the laws of the Persians and the Medes so that it may not be altered. That Vashti, hmm, that Vashti is never again, girl, at least get out my head, get out my head. Ah, you getting it before I'm giving it now. That, that Vashi is never again to come before the king and let the king give her royal position to another who is better than she. Moving on. Moving on is hard to do. Moving on and moving out of systems that we are so entrenched in is, is hard to do. Um, it is risky business. Um, it requires us uh, to consider um, to consider our connection and to consider uh -huh, um, to consider um, the perceived benefit. Y'all better help me preach this, Michelle, Kim, Elise. Come on, come on, and 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 the perceived benefit here. Um, looks as if all the power is in the P. <laughs> you heard what I said. <laughs> oh, you know, the power of the P is intoxicating. <laughs> you don't hear me though. Uh -uh. That's what I said. It's in talk, baby. It will have you, it will make you lose your whole mind. It, it, it will, I don't have any witnesses. It, it, it will, it will, uh, it will take you out. Uh-huh. You, you understood. Uh, it, 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 it will, uh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's what I said. It will, it will, um, you know, the way that we teach our daughters, um, to, to, to acquiesce to the power of the P to always know how powerful powerful uh -huh, the p is we teach our sons uh that the power of the p is theirs you know the power of the p baby will take you out this world the power of the p that is patriarchy <laughs> i don't know what y'all thought i was talking about <laughs> <laughs> listen 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 but that p2 will take you out it, it will take you clean out it, it will have you slain it will have you slain in the spirit you understand <laughs> oh, but at any rate uh here we in the power of this p patriarchy <laughs> Um, is so, it, it is so, rearing its head, and here then, um, Vashti has a decision to make. Vashti has to determine whether or not, which we see uh, in one through twelve, whether or not she is going to succumb to the power of patriarchy, or whether she is going to in 
act the power of her own pee, if you will, uh, and to hear her own voice and to step out and to leave. But there are consequences. I'm going to take my time with this. <laughs> but there are consequences, right? Uh, there are consequences uh, to this adherence. And those consequences are that, as I just saw Dean Guidry put up, uh, the the fragility of maleness, uh, the fragility of maleness, since it's Women's Day everywhere else, it might as well be Women's Day here, I say, uh, that the fragility of maleness is such um, uh, that they say not only did she disrespect the king, but she disrespected us too. Uh, and what will the noble women say if then uh, they realize once they see that she didn't come, they'll say that I didn't have to come too. Uh, but as Dr. Elise just alluded to, uh, what happened, what would happen if the noble women actually decided to, to rise up uh, and the noble women said, no to. This is the fear, right? Uh, if she didn't have to take the stand on her own. Uh, this is the fear. Uh, the fear of fragile maleness is that what will happen, mm, what will happen to the power of the P if we strip it from its power, uh, uh, if we debase it to the point where, uh, uh, to, 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 to where we have the ability to stand up and stand in. And guess what? Uh, not only what would happen if the noble women, but what would happen if the noble men? That part. I want you to just put a block right there. Just just put a just put a put a little pin right there. I'm I'm coming back. You know, I like I like to move. I'm coming back. Hey Ahmad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna let you gonna let you gonna let her? You you gonna let her say that to you? Uh huh. You know, brothers. I mean, come on. But uh, listen here though, because I don't want to vilify the brothers, right? I don't, I don't want you feeling a kind of way, uh, but I do want to call you to the carpet, but I don't want to vilify you. I am a womanist and I am interested in the survival of an entire community, non-binary male and female, I say, but I, I, I do want to call you to the carpet, but I also want to say here that the seven officials and the king also represent establishment. They represent the system. They represent the empire. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You hear? You hear? Uh-huh. And what the writer wants to do, the writer or, or, or what the, the officials want to do is they want to keep the vestiges of patriarchy intact. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do they do that? How does the system, the empire, how does it keep the vestiges of patriarchy intact? Um, can I just give us one example? One example is that um, we talked, to, well, we didn't talk about, I made a Facebook post on last week asking what happens when black women don't flourish. One thing that they do is, is that the system does is it prevents you from flourishing. Um, well, hmm. come on, Reverend Kendra is in the building. Ken, we just lifted you up. It was in these digital streets, I should say. We just lifted you up, sis. We just shouted you out for um, reminding us to live. I say we, we went to your Facebook page, got that post, uh, and put it up here so that the people could live. So thank you for your words. Thank you for your ministry. We appreciate you, and we love you. Thank you. So 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 how does how do black women then not flourish? Uh, how do people not flourish? How do non-binary folk not flourish? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, well, let me say, I, I would suggest that we don't flourish um, when we don't have the ability to tap into who we really are, uh, when we stay too long in things, um, when we become intoxicated by the power of the P, mm, uh, because we believe that somehow uh, our elevation is connected um, to, human, to, to, to a human-made system. Uh, somehow we believe um, we've been socialized to see ourselves as lesser and because we see ourselves as lesser, um, um, we don't trust the sound of our voice. Uh, we don't trust um, the inner workings. Uh, we don't trust it. And so I want to go to another elder right quick who can help us uh, bring this thing out. I'm still talking about moving on. I'm still talking about moving on. I, I want to go to uh, Baba uh, Howard Thurman, I say.
In a 1980 commencement speech at Spelman College, Dean Guidry and Dr. Rassaw there in Sisters Chapel, uh, Dr. Howard uh, Washington Thurman um, talked about this idea of the sound of the genuine. The sound of the genuine. Uh, and I'm going to read this um, as, uh, as a complimentary uh, or supplementary to the, our text this morning. Listen for a word from the Lord. There is something in every one of you that waits, that listens for the sound of the genuine in yourself. And if you cannot hear it, you will never find whatever it is for which you are searching. And if you hear it and then do not follow it, it was better that you had never been born. You are the only you that has ever lived. My goodness. I want to read that again. You are the only you. You are the only you that has ever lived. Your idiom is the only idiom of its kind in all the existence. And if you cannot hear the sound of the genuine, my God, in you, you will all yourself spend your days on the ends of strings that somebody else pulls. There is in you. Let me get up close again. There is in you. There is in you something that waits and listens for the sound of the genuine in yourself. And sometimes there is so much traffic, patriarchy, there is so much traffic going on in your mind, homophobia, and sometimes there is so much traffic, sexism, and sometimes there is so much traffic, racism, ageism, militarism, so much traffic going on in your mind. So many different kinds of signals, carrying other people's stuff, uh, carrying stuff that don't belong to you. Hey, God. <laughs> Trying to live out somebody else's story. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm reminded here of Miss Sophia uh, uh, and, and that scene in Color Purple um, where she's sitting home. She's come home and she's at the, the dinner table and she said, you ever want to go somewhere and can't? Hey, there's so many signals, so many signals, so many impulses floating through your organism that go back thousands of generations. My God, long before you were even a long before you were even a thought in the mind of creation. Mm. And you are buffeted by these. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Woo, God, today, <laughs> you are buffeted by these. And in the midst of all of this, you have got to find out what your name is. Woo, in the midst of all of these signals high, and impulses uh, that go back thousands of generations, uh, 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 you are buffeted by these. And in the midst of it, you have got to find out what your name is. What is your name? 
What is your name, Jesus? My God, today. Woo, Pastor Anika. Woo, my God. Yes, if Pastor Anika says, you got to filter through. Ah, yet filter through to find out what your name is. Hey, Baba Omotosho, Dr. Daniel Black, what is your name? Baba said, what your name is, is different from what people call you. <laughs> Come on, we still talk about moving on. We still talk about moving on. We still talk about moving on. Baba says, what your name is, is different from what people call you call you. Uh, Reverend Ken said that these regressions uh, uh, that our black men have because if healed trauma perpetuates all the isms, yep, unhealed trauma perpetuates all of the isms. And they perpetuate the isms, I'm not finished with Thurman, but they perpetuate the isms, uh, the isms that seek uh, to place black women on lockdown for having agency. For those who do know the sound of their genuine. For those who do know that my name is different from what some may call me. Howard Thurman says, who are you? How does the genuine, how does the sound of the genuine come through you. The sound of the genuine is flowing through you. My God, my God. See, I think that Vashti woke up. I think that something happened where she checked in, uh, 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 where she had realized uh, that the sound, I mean, this is me certainly reading all into this text. Uh, so at this point, it is, I'm reading it allegorically, but uh, at some point, uh, she she checks in. Uh, she, she does a self-check and says, wait a minute, at some point, sort of, I wonder if there's a panel that runs through her mind. Uh, uh, my mom talks about um, in her own um, survival of, of domestic violence, uh, she taught and 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 um, experimental drug use. She talks about um, uh, she talks about this one time when um, um, she was was she was dating this this big time drug dealer at home in in, in, in Pittsburgh, Darwin. We lived on Paulson, and and my mom said, and she this is public. She has shared this story, and so um, I have total authority to share this story. And she said, um, you know, she said, you know, I had told um, him that I didn't want to, you know, do, dr I didn't want to be free based on no cocaine anymore. Like that, that was a wrap that that was it. And, and, um, she said, because one night after having been in the room all night, um, um, uh, uh, um, getting high. She said, I came out of the bedroom and we met you and I talking about me met one another at the same time. And she said, and the look that you gave me, it, it was this look of, of, um, it wasn't disgust, but it was this look like, Mm, as if like, sis, get your life together. Like, what are you doing? Like, how, how, what's happening here? She said, and I will never forget that look. Uh, she said, even today at 70, she said, there are panels of my life that sort of go in front of me. And that is one panel that sticks. She said, because it was at that moment that I woke up, uh, that I woke up and said, who, who am I? Like, what is my name? Like, 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 what, 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 and so I am imagining uh, for, for, for Vashi and for others of us, right, that these panels um, that we move through that are, uh, some are as a result uh, of the power of patriarchy and the patriarchal systems uh, that have caused us uh, to either, um, operate in or collude with, um, to denigrate, uh, to downplay, uh, to not listen to, to, to our name, but to what other folks call us to stay seated and to stay rooted in a situation that is not life giving. And so there has to be something. And I'm saying, Vashay, what was the something? It was the sound of the genuine. Thurman says that the sound of the genuine 
is flowing through you. I cannot wait to go back and read these comments um, that, that Ken and, and Black and Nichelle are having. I love this. I love this. I love this. Uh, it is the sound of the genuine that is flowing through you. Don't be deceived and thrown off by all the noises. Ah, don't be thrown off by all the noises that are part even of your dreams or your ambitions so that you don't hear the sound of the genuine. Mm -hmm. Don't lose track. Mm -hmm. Don't lose track, Ebony Janice. <laughs> don't lose track. Uh huh. Mm, because of all of the noises. Don't lose track because of the seven officials of Persia and media. Don't lose track. Don't lose track because you know it's a cost to this and you're going to lose. Don't lose track. Listen, 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 listen. Don't lose track because when your mentor was on the track, they lost track. Yay, hey, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so, because they don't understand the difference between mentorship and apprenticeship. Come on in here, somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apprenticeship um, allows you to be the agent. Mm. Doesn't strip you of your agency. Mm -hmm. Apprenticeship unlocks the gift in you. Uh -huh. Apprenticeship uh, helps to 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 helps you to identify the gift so that you mold the gift. Uh, the nah, the mentor wants to mold the gift. The apprentice, uh, the, the 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 one who is uh, the guide, uh, allows you to unlock, allows you to mold. Jesus, today, mm, 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 mm. don't lose track because the mentor lost track and now wants to redirect and redo through you. That'll stop you from flourishing. And don't get the sound, your sound of your genuine mixed up with somebody else's sound of their genuine. I just cannot, cannot, cannot help us today. Cannot, cannot, you, you, you can't, you can't. You can't mix them up, uh huh. Yeah, because when you mix them up, uh huh, you get your signals crossed. Uh, and when your signal is crossed, uh, uh, you you can't quite hear your connection. It's it's like the internet. Uh, your bad. You got a bad connection. Uh, what does it say? Your internet. Your connection is unstable. <laughs> your connection is unstable. Mm -hmm. And listen and listen. And, and here's the thing with that. I know I'm all over the place, but I'm in the spirit. Ha! The thing with the unstable connection is that when you go to speak, to write, to do what should be coming from your sound of the genuine, it ain't even yours. So now you're committing spiritual plagiarism uh, because what you're saying, doing, and or writing ain't yours. And you don't even know it ain't yours. Come on in here into Zaki Shange. Somebody almost walked off with all of my stuff. You don't even know it ain't yours because you don't know your name. Mm. Woo! I feel that. I feel that. I'm getting free up in here. Woo! Baba almost said the elder's job is to insist that you find you. Not that you find them. Come on, Baba Omo. <laughs> and so if your elder is not insisting that you find them, listen, I think that Vashti found her. Thurman continues, don't be deceived and thrown off by all the noises that are part of that are part of your dreams. This time be going so fast, y'all your ambitions so that you don't hear the sound of the genuine in you because that because that is the only true guide that you will ever have and if you don't have that 
if you don't have that sound of the genuine, you don't have a thing. My God, I just, some things you just got to breathe through. You can't even see anything. You, you saying you just got to, you just got to breathe through it, y'all. You may be famous. You may be whatever the other ideals are, which are a part of this generation, but you know you don't have the foggiest notion of who you are or where you are going or what you want. Thurman says, cultivate the sound of the genuine. How do you cultivate it? Let me blend my text here. How do you cultivate it? You better voluntarily separate. That's where your exile comes in. That's where your moving on comes in. How do you cultivate it? Uh, you better separate for it from anything and everything that is impeding your progress. You best to separate. Uh huh. You best to pull a fool out. Do you understand? Uh, yep. And it, it's going to require, I can't sugarcoat it. Uh, you're going to give up some things. You're going to give up some privileges. You're going to give up some keys. You're going to give up some status. You're going to give up some contracts. You're going to give up some relationships absolutely there's no way around it uh-huh there is no way around it but through uh, you don't get around doing the work to find the sound of the genuine uh, i just saw with her sister tabitha brown on instagram she said there are no hookups uh, no hookups when it comes to your life's work uh, you can't get a discount uh, you can't get 50 percent off uh, you can't get buy one get one free uh, you can't get the rebate you just got to do the work. You got to do the work. Uh, and the work is hard. And the work ain't easy. And guess what? It's going to be folk who going to stand against you, who going to tell the powers that be to cash you out, to get out. And even when you left on your own, to make a decree and let that decree say that you can never come back up in here again, that you ain't never going to be welcome up here again, that you never have a seat at this table, that this pulpit will never be open to you you that this program will never accept you and baby that might be the cost but when you do it in community come on dr elise Come on, Baba Omo. Come on, Mel, Chris, and Dugu, and Nzinga. When you do it in community, the consequence is easier to bear. Thurman says, cultivate the discipline of listening to the sound of the genuine in yourself. Now, there is something in everybody that waits and listens for the sound of the genuine in other people. <laughs> what they're going to say today. Mm -hmm. What the, ooh, ooh, oh, what's the latest book? Ooh, 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 I gotta get that book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta read this. Mm -hmm. I gotta read that article. Ooh, what they talking about? Ooh, I gotta watch that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 I gotta, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes, child. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we always wanna cultivate the sound in other people. Thurman says, but. I must wait and listen for the sound of the genuine in me. 
that I must wait for if I cannot hear it, then in my scheme of things, I am not even present. And everybody wants to feel that everybody else knows that they are there. Thurman says, I want to feel that I'm thoroughly and completely understood so that now and then I can take my guard down. I can look out around me and not feel that I will be destroyed with my defenses down. I want to feel completely vulnerable, completely naked, completely exposed and absolutely secure. I want to read that again. I want to take my guard down and look out around me and not feel that I will be destroyed with my defenses down. I want to feel completely vulnerable. I want to feel completely naked. I want to feel completely exposed and absolutely secure uh, that I can run the risk of radical exposure and know that the eye that beholds my vulnerability will not step on me. That I can feel secure in my awareness of the active presence of my own idiom in me, Jesus. So as I live my life then, this is what I am trying to fulfill. It doesn't matter whether I become a doctor, whether I remain the queen, whether I become a lawyer, whether I become a housewife, because I'm secure. And why am I secure? I'm secure because I hear the sound of the genuine. I hear it in myself. And having learned to listen so that I can become quiet enough, Jesus, so that I can become still enough, my God, so that I can become quiet enough or still enough to hear the sound of the genuine in you. Don't miss it. If I can become quiet enough, if I can become completely vulnerable and risk radical exposure, if I can not be concerned with who might tell me that my slip is hanging, if I can not be concerned with showing up in the full authenticity of who I am, if I cannot be concerned with who you think I should be. If I cannot be concerned with even who I think I should be. If I cannot be concerned with the respectability politics of the day. If I cannot be concerned then when I acknowledge the sound of the genuine in me then I acknowledge the sound in the genuine in you. Marion Williamson says it like this. That every time we become liberated from our fears, liberated every time we move on from our fears, both self-imposed and externally opposed. Every time we move beyond the deficits, every time we move beyond the disruption, then we liberate other people. We liberate other people. We liberate them to let their light shine. And that's the power, friends, of the sound of the genuine. I want to believe this morning that something rose up on inside of Vashti that told her that it was time to move on. It was her sound. Ah, we got to become comfortable with the sound of our voice. Uh, uh, not necessarily the voice that we audibly hear, uh, but the voice that we sense. Ah, uh, uh, we've been sitting in situations uh, being quiet uh, for far too long. It's time for you to move on from that seat of complacency to move on so that you can hear your sound. Your sound so that you can hear your name. Finally, Thurman closes and says, now, if I hear the sound of the genuine in me, and if you hear the sound of the genuine in you, 
It is possible for me to go down in me and come up in you. Y'all don't hear that? <laughs> you don't hear it. You don't hear it. I'm going to read it again. I want to read it again. I want to read that again. Now, if I hear the sound of the genuine in me, my God. If I hear the sound of the genuine in me and you hear the sound of the genuine in you, hey, God, it is possible for me to go down in me, Jesus, and come up in you. Is that incarnation? <laughs> so that when I look at myself through your eyes, having made that pilgrimage, my I see in me what you see in me and the wall that separates and divides will disappear and we will because will become one because the sound of the genuine makes the music. Can I read it one more time? Yes, Pastor Anika, and that's the awakening. Let me pull my Spanx up. Hold on. Can I read it one more time? Ah, now if I hear the sound of the genuine in me, my God, today, and if you hear the sound of the genuine in you, uh, then it is possible for us to go down. It is possible for me to go down, uh -huh, to go down in myself uh, and come up in you. Uh, now we've become connected. Now we've become connected. Uh, yes, Amber. Yes, Reverend Amber. Uh, it is incarnation and resurrection you know we still in uh, uh, that if i go down in me then i come up in you uh, that means that we're interconnected uh, baba that means that we're walking together that means that you ain't in it alone that means that we're a self-determining community that means that if you go i go uh, that means that we coming forward all together you understand if i go down in me baby and if i come up in you, uh, you don't hear it. So that when I look at myself, ah, uh, uh, when I look at myself through your eyes, ah, uh, then I ain't quick to judge. If I look at myself uh, through your eyes, having made it through my own pilgrimage, there but for the grace of God, there go I. Uh, having made it through the pilgrimage, then I see me. I see in me what you see in me. But what you see in me is good. You, you, you hear? You're not projecting onto me anything foul because you have done the work of identifying the sound of the genuine in your own self. So there's a mutual trust, a, a mutual trust and responsibility here uh, uh, that we are each doing the work uh, so that when we see one another, uh, we are automatically giving one another the benefit of the doubt. You don't hear me today. Uh, before the judgment, uh, judgment shouldn't even come uh, because if I look at you and if I know that we in community then I trust that you're doing the same you know what that requires for us to do it requires for us to move on then we're gonna have to move on from some stuff or we're gonna have to move on from some people we're gonna have to move on from some places we're gonna have to move on from some things and these things gonna be mad they gonna be mad about it they're gonna attempt to block at every entrance uh-huh they're gonna attempt to blacklist and blackball uh-huh they're gonna attempt to stop your flow stop your bag stop your shine stunt your growth ah uh, they going to but you got to keep moving on and here's the question that i want to pose to you as we get ready to head over to union temple baptist church online uh, to watch uh, uh, uh the, to participate in the women's day service uh, with pastor anika wilson brown that starts at 9 30 a.m eastern standard time i want y'all to walk right from here to, to toggle right from here on over pastor anika put on how they where they could go type that in right now where they could go because i 
I don't want there to be any lag. I just want them to be able to go to the bathroom, go refresh their coffee or their beverage, and we're going to come right on over to the service. And today, I want those of you who usually give to Pink Rope Chronicles, I want to sow into these ministries. And so I invite you to give um, today, to, to give your offering to Union uh, Temple and to um, Abyssinian uh, Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, today, I, I invite you to sow in that way. And so <clears throat> it's going to require us to move on, to move. And here's the question I want to leave you with. Yesterday, I was watching on Showtime, the movie Mary. It's about Mary of Magdala. I've never watched this movie. Um, and I'm sure those of you who are biblical scholars would, you know, I'm sure that there may be issues with the movie and accuracy and so forth and so on. But I was taken by the display of this movie. Um, uh, um. Kimberly, that is my message at Union. Is I'm preaching the daughters as a loaf of hay. Ashe. I, um, I, I was taken by this movie. I like, I was, I felt like I had a, an encounter um, I, I, I had, I was, um, like, I just, I felt something happen on the inside watching this movie, Mary. Um, and there was a question that the person playing Jesus asked the character playing Mary. And this is the question that I want to ask you as we prepare for our closing song, as we prepare for our exit uh, on this morning. In your moving on, in your search for the sound of the genuine, will you, do you, have the courage to follow what you hear? Your search for the sound of the genuine. Will you, do you, have the courage to follow what you hear? Mm. Do you have the courage to follow what you hear? I'm closing chapters, I'm turning pages, glory to glory. From faith to faith I'm moving on I'm moving on I'm moving on I'm getting older So I'll keep it straight It hurts to let go But it hurts more to stay I'm moving on I'm moving on Hey, I'm moving on Hey, 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 hey I'm moving on from self aggrandizement, y'all. I'm moving on from guilt, ah, from shame. I'm moving on. From your opinion of me. Hey. Ooh.
this groove. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what's up, Shy? Yes! Reverend Ken said I moved on from playing small. What y'all moving on from? Move on, move on, move on. You finally decided, Pastor. Move on. Let me tell you something. This thing cranks. I'm moving on. Woo! Talk to Deuces. Let me get y'all just a little bit. I just feel like you might need a little bit. Get that groove. Get that groove. Y'all ready? We get ready. Head on over. We going to D.C. Who coming to D.C. with me? Who going with me over to Union Temple right now? Come on, let me see your hands. I'm moving on. Who going to support our, our PRC community member, Pastor Anika Wilson-Brown, for Women's Day? I'm moving on. Yes, Dasha. Yes, from cultural expectations. I'm liberated. Yes, KP. Move on from doubting your brilliance. He said, where my moving truck? Yes, Erica. Moving on from the users that have disguised themselves as village. My God. Welcome to DC. Thank you, Kinga. <laughs> Now unto God that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ever ask, hope, and or think according to the power that works in us. Ah, may this God reign for all time. May this God be the God that we find in ourselves. May this God show us, reveal to us the sound of our own genuines. May we move on from anything that would block or impede our forward movement. This we ask in the name of the sacred empowered mothers in the name of our ancestors in the name of the energies that are characteristic of God the life-giving energies the sweet water energies the thunder and lightning energies the iron energies and even the energy that rests at the crossroads and in the name of the African Messiah that one that came to show us an alternative way in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach we are Offer this prayer and this benediction. And together we say, Ashe, Ashe, Asheo, Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Now, go get your water, your coffee, your tea, shake a little bit and listen to the song again that was moving on by Jonathan McReynolds off of his um, latest work called People. Go readjust, readjust. And I want you, if you usually worship somewhere else uh, at 930, I want you to visit Union Temple this morning. Visit Union Temple and I want you to participate in the service. I want you to be in the comments. Uh, I want you to let, let Union Temple know that Pink Grove Chronicles is there and we are worshiping with them we are visiting with them you can check them out uh i believe uh is it on union i think tasha has set up the um tasha put the 
Tasha put the picture in there. And then um, after that, at 10 o'clock, um, at 11 o'clock, so from now there at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and at 10 o'clock Central Time, then Pink Road Chronicles, it's a day in worship. We going over to the blackest church in Memphis, to Abyssinian Baptist Church, where we will be um, sharing in their Women's Day service um, uh, at Union Temple. You know, we talk about I'm coming to get what's mine. I say I'm coming to get what's mine. Uh, coming from Numbers 27 and at Abyssinian, um, uh, we're talking about a Avoid them, avoid them. Womanish opposite silly uh, coming from 2 Timothy chapter 3. So come with us. Uh, it is so glad to see each of you. God bless. Bye.